Hate it or love it, the underdogs on top. I'm Duquan Young, and today we present 10 athletes that were hated by their own team. And a big shout out to Fusion Boy for suggesting this video. Also, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and join us in the comment section below and let us know what other athletes were hated by their own team. And the point of playing for a specific team is for the fans, players, coaches, and even management to love you. And if they don't, then that's a huge problem. Throughout the years, a number of professional athletes suited up for a team that didn't really seem to like them. The fans and club simply rejected them for many reasons. Number 10, Alex Smith, the San Francisco 49ers. The 49ers drafted Smith first overall, passing up on the opportunity to draft Aaron Rodgers. His first five seasons in San Fran were awful. He never won more than seven games and was a major turnover machine. Fans got so fed up with him and management received criticism for being too patient. Of course, Smith fixed his career in 2011 as San Francisco reached the NFC Championship, but one year later, he was replaced by Colin Kaepernick. Smith was then traded to the Kansas City Chiefs in 2013, signifying that the team never really trusted him, even when things turned around. Number nine, Josh Hamilton, Texas Rangers. J. Ham won the 2010 American League MVP and guided the Texas Rangers to the AL pennant that same year. He helped Texas reach yet another World Series in 2011 as well. But near the end of the 2012 season, Hamilton and the Rangers collapsed and lost in the AL wildcard game. Hamilton finished the season miserably and was booed heavily by Texas fans. He got back at them by signing with the rival LA Angels for five years. He then said Dallas wasn't a baseball town and that the fans were spoiled. Number eight, Wayne Rooney, Manchester United. A great amount of Manchester United fans will only have good things to say about Wayne Rooney. But many other fans and team management will tell you how much of a stuck-up greedy pig he was. Rooney openly cheated on his wife with prostitutes, so there's that. He also kept finding ways to make sure the team paid him more and more and more and more money, even though he wasn't the only good player on Man U. And how sick did the fans get of his selfishness? This sign reminds us that a picture is worth a thousand words. We're guessing not too many Man U fans shed a tear when he left them to join Everton in 2017. Number seven, Dwight Howard every team he's been on. Howard was supposed to form the next great super team. He and Steve Nash joined Kobe Bryant's Los Angeles Lakers in 2012. It was a disaster from the get-go. Howard struggled and kept playing the it's all about me card. Lakers fans got sick of him and were pissed when he chose to join the Rockets after the 2013 season. Howard wasn't liked by his Orlando Magic squad for getting Stan Van Gundy fired. And no, we're sure the Houston Rockets and Atlanta Hawks fans were thrilled to see him leave. Number six, Jamarcus Russell, Oakland Raiders. The Oakland Raiders drafted Russell first overall in 2007, expecting him to be the franchise's long-term quarterback. Russell was a huge flop in his three seasons with Oakland, costing a total of 18 touchdowns and 23 interceptions. Russell was booed constantly by the fans and released in the 2010 offseason. Raiders fans and management hate him to this day. Russell was a huge bust in one of the greatest draft classes ever, which included Calvin Johnson and Darrell Revis. Number five, Roberto Luongo, Vancouver Canucks. The Vancouver Canucks desperately needed a star goalie, so they traded for superstar Roberto Luongo in 2006. He single-handedly led the Canucks to the Northwest Division title in his first year there. But two seasons later, Vancouver fans came to realize that Bobby Lou wasn't capable of showing up in the playoffs. Luongo did underachieve in the playoffs, and the media and fans made it clear how much they didn't appreciate him. Luongo requested a trade and made it clear he regretted signing a 12-year extension. Canucks fans were thrilled to see him get traded back to the Florida Panthers in 2014. Number four, Jay Cutler, Chicago Bears. Cutler was never that great of a quarterback for the Chicago Bears, but after a solid showing in the 2013 season that nearly culminated in an NFC North crown, Cutler was rewarded with a seven-year extension worth $126.7 million. Let us remind you that Bears fans hated Cutler well before the extension. Fans called him a quitter for having to leave the 2010 NFC Championship game with an MCL sprain. Cutler was a disaster after signing the extension. Fans targeted him for not caring and showing a lot of smug looks on the sidelines. And then he unretired and stole some money from the Dolphins. Number three, Mark Messier, the Vancouver Canucks. Needing a franchise star to build around, the Canucks signed six-time Stanley Cup champion Mark Messier to a three-year deal in 1996 worth $20 million. Canucks fans instantly disliked Messier for taking the captaincy away from their favorite Trevor Linden. But Messier was also past his prime and turned out to be a big waste of money. Then, over a decade later, he won an arbitration case to steal a few million bucks more from the Canucks. He was never liked in Vancouver 
probably never will be. Number two, Bill Buckner, the Boston Red Sox. The Boston Red Sox faced the New York Mets in the 1988 World Series, looking to end their 68 year championship drought. Everyone remembers game six. Boston was one out away from the championship, but the Mets rallied to tie the game. Then Mookie Wilson hit a slow roller towards first base, which rolled through Bill Buckner's legs. The Mets went on to win the game and the series. Buckner received death threats and was booed a ton by Red Sox fans. The fans couldn't fully forgive him until the Red Sox finally won the World Series in 2004. Number one, Alex Rodriguez, the New York Yankees. A-Rod is one of the best players in Yankees history, but man, the fans really don't like him. It all started during the 2007 World Series. A-Rod's Yankees weren't even in it, but he stole the spotlight by opting out of his contract. Rodriguez and his agent began tense negotiations with the Yankees, but finally settled on a 10-year extension for $275 million. A-Rod was always a playoff choker in New York. Once, he was suspended for his part in the biogenesis scandal. The fans had had it. He was booed a lot in his final year as a Yankee. He put himself before the Yankees, he took all the money he could from them, and he didn't always perform when needed. Rodriguez was truly loved and yet despised so much from his own team. This is Daquan Young signing off. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.